My name is Sydney Jarvis, owner of Bunsies Organic Spray Tanning, located in Gilbert, Arizona. I'm here today to talk about the five tips for the perfect photo shoot spray tan. Let's talk about the why. Why should you get an airbrush tan for your photo shoot? I know it can be scary, especially if you've never had one before or you've had one of those awful orange splotchy experiences. Airbrush tans will smooth your skin's appearance, which means less work and editing for your photographer and a more you looking end result. Airbrush tans are here to enhance your natural skin tones by giving you a glow and not a fake tan. How do you know that you have picked the right person to do your photo shoot spray tan? Do your research and when it comes to reviews and credentials, you need to know, are they a certified airbrush technician? This is super important because if they are properly trained, then that means they have developed the skill set to look for those little details that are unique to your individual body. Stay away from products that are one color fits all because they are not. Ask to see pictures of clients with natural skin tones similar to you. What type of tan are you going to get for your photo shoot? First, you need to share with your technician the type of photo shoot that you have. Fitness photo shoots are rich in color to define muscle tone like Naomi has here. Accentuating her body lines, keeping the color still focused on her natural undertone. For example, when I'm tanning Naomi for her fitness photo shoots, I take her natural golden undertones and I apply a chocolate color to her skin. Something that's going to accentuate her muscle tone, again, giving her definition and a perfect golden glow. When you're getting an everyday spray tan, you're going to want a softer, more natural look. Both can be achieved by the same color as long as you have proper technique and application by a skilled certified airbrush technician. One of the biggest mistakes that airbrush technicians make when spray tanning for a photo shoot can be to overspray hands and feet. Naomi's hands here are even, they're golden, they're bronze to match her body without any white spots in between her fingers and no overspray. This will save your photographer a lot of time in editing. Now we're going to talk about the before care for your spray tan. You want to make sure that you stay hydrated and you moisturize at least one week consistently prior to your service. With Naomi, I had her moisturize a week before her photo shoot, get her hair and nails done, waxing done two to three days prior, come in for her application, making sure she wasn't wearing any lotions, deodorant, or makeup during her application. This will mess with the pH of your skin and maybe cause problems in the developing and processing stages. Now, we're gonna talk about aftercare. Once she's showered, she needs to moisturize at least two times daily. Spray tans will naturally dehydrate your skin. It's a layer on the surface of your skin. So you wanna make sure that you're not only staying hydrated just like before, but also moisturizing twice daily with a paraben-free and alcohol-free lotion. This is key. And lastly, when do you spray tan before your photo shoot? One to two days. You don't want to come in with an old spray tan, something that's already naturally exfoliating off. You want it to be fresh, you want it to be rich in color, and you want it to look amazing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Sydney with Bunsies Organic Spray Tanning. Thanks for watching the five tips on the perfect photo shoot spray tan brought to you by Fitposium U. For more information and tips on spray tanning, check out my website, www.bunsiestanning.com.